Hi, amazing people. Um, so I'm a little unwell, but I was going through some family photos and I found negatives and I thought, oh, what can I do with those? Because we never use them and I don't know if I would ever use them to actually print from ever again. So why not use them in junk journals? Um, so I've had a little play and I'm here to share that with you. Sorry if I feel, if I sound a little bit weird. Um, I have a bit of a cold, I think. So my apologies. Um, I've just got a few little bits and pieces. Um, I will show you how I've prepped that and we'll go from there. Um, I don't usually do tutorials. I've been asked to do them and I remember reading the comments and thinking you are gonna regret asking for that because the way I craft is I really faff around a lot so if you don't like it please just either fast forward me mute me or stop watching um, but I did want to say that I really appreciate everyone who has subscribed and commented your beautiful supportive comments um, just mean the world to me and make me want to keep going so um, without further ado uh, I'll just go get some paint that I've forgotten to lay out because here we go this is the nature of my faffing back in a second okay so I just start with normal negative um, usually uh, you'll have the beginning or the end of the negative that you had to use to wind on anyway you may not have finished the end of it so you don't have to use the negatives that have photos on them um, but I'm not too fussed with these ones I think the nature of that kind of photography before you ended up with digital photography you ended up with about 10 things that um, worked out of a roll of 24 uh, so first thing is I have just gessoed, sorry, gessoed both sides with this, just Liquitex, clear, you could use white, that would work too, uh, and then I have just waited for that to dry and thrown some paint on it, needles, yeah, that's my cat, thank you for that, okay, so if I get the film that we have gessoed, I started with this, just basic acrylics. Uh, this is unbleached titanium, so it's not completely white. And I'm just going to do a little section. Um, some parts I would leave so that you could see a little bit of the film through, and some I would um, make quite opaque with the paint, as you can see. You guys have always given me such lovely comments and I can't help but think if I do this, <laughs> if I do a tutorial, I'm going to get some awful comments of how difficult it was to watch the faffing, but we'll see how we go. And I do do both sides. Usually I would wait for that side to dry and then I would get a little bit of just your basic um, cheap. I get these from the warehouse in New Zealand. You don't need expensive acrylic paints for this kind of thing. Um, and then I'll just put a little bit of white in as well. Just so that it looks a little bit rustic. Uh, I do usually, I go over these little stickers a little bit, but I also still like to see them because they are part of the negative and um, in some of them I'll use. So then I just put that away once I've done both sides to dry and should be ready to go. Okay, let the faffing begin. So I've printed out just little photos. I printed this one and this one. And these are actually my family photos. Um, I believe that one is my grandmother and her sister and I believe that one is my grandmother and her mother hmm. so I also have die cut two tabs one I have hand stamped memories onto which I really like the hand stamping because 
I love how it's not all on one line and it's all huckery because that just adds to it. I have inked the edges as well. And this is actually a card that my old family photos came on from the 1900s. But they had like two extra pieces behind them. I might just, um, yeah, that's hard to explain. But here we go. Okay. So... This is where I will stop talking and I will just start faffing so that you can see that by no means is what I do um, quick or easy or painless. I'm pretty happy with that so I'm just going to glue that with some um, Helmer's glue and I'll be right back okay so glued that's what I use all the time for everything well almost everything okay so I've got to figure out I still want to see that it's a negative so I might just cut it about there because I've decided I want this to be a hidden paper clip so do I want, yep, I want that shorter. And then just got to figure out how big I need this. I want to do something on the back as well. Um, when I do hidden paper clips, I usually do one side shorter than the other. I don't know if everyone does that or not. It just makes it easier to um, slide on. So I don't want to see it, but I do want room to put that on as well. Yep, that should be good. Okay, so another trick. A lot of people I've seen do that and that's perfectly fine I don't like that so punch a half hole and pop that on there and look at that she hides down further just then I think everyone does this just put a little bit of clear sellotape over each side of the paper clip before sorry about that noise <laughs> and I've got paint for my fingers all over the sellotape and this is why I don't do tutorials please be kind <laughs> different when I'm just showing a technique um, that I already know exactly what I'm going to do. I don't have to worry about anything else like my other ones with showing the brads and things like that. Um, but this, this is a little bit different and you ladies out there that I watch all the time, that I admire so much, <laughs> um, your talent is not lost on me. Okay, so you could just stick that straight onto there or you could make another cover for that and then stick those things onto the cover that you've made um, I think I'm just going to stick it directly on this time uh, because I don't think you're going to see the paper clip at all by the time that's on there 
So I don't want that exactly up there. I do want it down a little bit. So the idea of this is, once it's in the journal, um, you'll be able to move it around where you want to write your memories in. Now, confession, I did actually arrange this kind of a little bit um, before coming on camera. So now we're going to do the raw side that I have never practiced, that I have never um, used any putting together with. And we're going to see what real faffing looks like. Some of you people are so experienced, though, anyway, I don't think um, you'd have to watch all of this anyway. I think you would have turned off by now, so. <laughs> I'm hoping, anyway. sew a button on but I'm happy with that Grab a little bit of just need something around the edges. Once you've watched this, please let me know if you want to see more or if I should never do this again. <laughs> because I feel like I should never do this again. Two pages that are ripped out. Okay, radio. That's fine. <laughs> we'll just put some more glue on there. Okay, now, I do want that over that piece there, so, also thought, 
It's got a little dangle off there as well, which I might do before I put them in the journal because that would be really cute. Okay, so I might just glue you there. Now, me being me, that even though when it's in the journal you won't see it, that whiteness is driving me mental. So I would usually just chuck some ink on that. Okay, now I shall allow that to dry for just a little bit and then I will be back to show you slipping it onto the edge of a journal page okay so I also made this now I haven't quite decided I am going to either make it into a slide with paper clips one two and put it on the edge of a page um, like that or I might make it a tip in and put some card on the back and or make it into a little notebook tip in with a couple of spare pages in it haven't decided we'll see how we go but that is another idea that you can use where you're showing the negative just a little bit more um, if you wanted to show it even more than that just be really careful when you glue down the side put some dark card behind it so that the dark card shows through maybe a dark brown shows through the holes hmm. those are all from Sam's kit sample that's what this sneak peek there is about okay so Got these beautiful old wallpapers so happy with that and hmm, losing it forgot which way it went there you go and you could either put a dangle there, you could have put a little dangle there. But either way, that gives you a tab, but it's also removable. Which I really like. I hope some of you enjoyed that video that I have given you some ideas. But we'll see how we go. Please comment. Please let me know if this is not something I should attempt and should just stick with my journal flip throughs. Um, I would love that. Okay, guys. Bye.